hello guys welcome again to the channel and we have again another standard deck tech for brothers war and this one got me interested again because of this not really an old school uh, deck strategy but i'm happy to see that it is uh, seem to be working again in this version of a deck for this format now to check for this list we call it is the by Butch Lobster as the Absan. I'll, I think I'll call this one as the Absan uh, self meal uh, agro deck because it's really relies mainly on the self milling of uh, having more creatures in the graveyard and benefits it as we go with its effects as you have more creatures there, uh, uh, milled there and having this uh, card advantage by your other creatures that. Uh, probably go inside with uh, this build so if we're going to take the main deck it's basically consists of only the three card types that is 32 creatures 24 lands and four sorcery so we go to break through the creature i will think i'll go first with the uh, what triggers this self mill cards we go with first the four copies of death bone and sprout so this is from minute hunt if you're going to check it it mills a card of the mirror upkeep, and if there are three or more creature cards in your graveyard, you may transform it into a death bonnet uh, sprout. So get you get this version wherein it becomes a 3 3. And of the mirror upkeep, you may exile card from graveyard and put the creature card exiled as a benefit that you will have a uh, possession counter added on death bonnet out. So basically, it goes with a good uh, uh, first drop that will self mail you and at the same time if you are having other effects that can also mail out creatures you can get this one as a big as possible and this as they said they grow up so fast on this so along with this build of uh, the sprout we have also uh, four copies of orber Lurgoif. i think this one was also featured in a previous uh, deck tech video for that was i think for domain united so if you are going to check here it has this ability that mail three cards for its time it was kick so basically going with those colors you can cast it for three you will kick mill three times and if you're casting four four with the extra kick for blue mana and black mana you will get to mill six cards then its power is uh, what every lord goif does its power is equal to the number of creature cards you give it and the toughness is equal to the number plus one so no more creature cards added because of this deck that basically focus on having more creatures with 32 creatures in the main lineup so the more chances that this orberg logo will be get to be bigger and more very uh, hard to dealt with especially that uh, most of the chances of mailing these cards are mostly creature cards so we go to the rest of the lineup we check this one again this was flip early on this was Luther Qatar. also a good uh, sort of agility creature because it was it can be able to exile and creature and opponent controls it also gets the benefit that uh, whenever it transforms into a bottle Qatar, there are instants that you can have this one placed like uh, you have be able to flip this on your on your opponent's uh, end step and then up your your next turn you will cast two spells though it will then again turn back into a bottle Qatar and at the same time exile another creature or any relevant creature and opponent controls for this uh, advantage so basically this is good uh, two for one in this case in any case that's how you would uh, maneuver your play to have this one so four copies of that also have uh, three copies of the uh, Qatar commando this is more of a creature on a stick that basically can deal with artifact or enchantment so in it's trying any fable any equipment or any other relevant artifact creatures since um, the meta game today with water sword will solely uh, rely on creatures that are basically prototypes they can be casted early on for their prototype cost so Cathar Commando would be your solution in dealing with those uh, cards, cards so take a piece of those we also have uh, Evil Sleeper just being up to the curve is that because of this ability that can later on becomes a 2-2 and a 3-3 with the uh, Fraction Human Cleric with a death touch counter and also a good mana sink in the late game because of its ability that you can put a counter on it then draw a card and you lose one life so at the same time still becomes a bigger threat as the game goes and also provide you extra cards for your uh, other gas that might you need for this uh, matchup so galag returns again for 
or two drops with the four copies because of the creature decks uh, that are savvy on this it goes with the benefit also to have this effect of having an alliance ability so they have your teacher chaser to put percent percent counters on it or pull create a top pressure token to uh, ramp up your mana later on or you will gain life in case that uh, the damage race would be really relevant on those uh, certain matchups so to make sure that this is effective you get to play four copies of this in the main deck along with it we have a new card that is the hero of the dunes this is from brothers war it will check its ability it's a five to cast uh, three generic one white and black for a three two human soldier that when it enters the battlefield you may return target artifact creature or a creature card with mana value or less from a graveyard to the battlefield so basically a good uh good animation effect on its own but it also gives you an also do anthem effect because of the creatures you control with mana value to your less goes to add an additional percent of zero on their power so if you're going to check her lineup most of these aside from hero of the dunes are purely mana value three or less so a good effect it gets you a good advantage to return on your creature and at the same time a mana uh, anatomy effect that goes with this uh, ability so two very good benefit in a card in one so making it sure that we'll be able to utilize it by turn five as early as possible then you will get to have four copies of this in the main so we go again for another utility creature these are fire action missionary this is just a tutukas 2 3 in itself but later on can be a good removal because you will be able to kick uh, not a removal per se but you will be able to return a card your card from your graveyard to your hand what i am referring to is maybe the sign of the, the effects of like uh, eric effects like the plague uh, the plague bringer or something that, like the effect on those but i'm not sure if they still have a similar card like that in standard but we'll go through to that for another video so if it is kick, return a creature card from the grave return hand. At the same time, the same C is just two, which will gonna benefit with the June's uh, anthem ability. And also it's a life link. We make sure that the damage race would be in our favor because of this effect. So four copies of those to make sure that you're just going to the two drops or just curve out early without going to worry on what will be the kicker or not. Uh, last but not least for creature is this Shigeki. If you check this ability, this is a common 2-drop, but its effect is that you will have this activated ability wherein you will reveal top 4 cash library, you get to choose a land that will fix out your mana in case, for example, you have no 3rd-drop, land-drop, or any mana fix that you would need to cast another spell of the non-green uh, colors, then you will get to choose that from the top 4 cards of library. And then, those were not chosen you will put it on the graveyard at the same time it goes to the effect again that benefits that creature cards are put are placed into the graveyard for effect at the same time if you are going to the late game we're going to just basically channel out shigeki on this by paying xx and two green mana you will return x target and legendary cards from your graveyard to your hand so nothing to go with this aside that it is a good uh, gas and probably in much of your Spot removals and mass removals are very frequent, so still a very good card inclusion heal. And also, we have just uh, three copies of the deck to make sure that uh, activating this it would really hinder your agro, agro assault if needed in certain matchups that uh, you would need to curve out creatures to deal uh, damage as early as possible. So, last on this list before we go with the lens or the sorcery, the patch up card from Capena. Because of its ability that can return up to three instant creature cards with a total mana value three or less from regular virtual battlefield, it basically goes with just having at least at the most return one. I mean at the least return one and at the most return three. Because if you can have prepared here the mana value, we have some several one drops here. We can have six and several two drops. So if you're going to patch up, either you go with an, a copy of Kotar Commando. A death bonus sprout that that is two cards. If there are instants that you will be able to return, for example, two evolved sleepers and two sprout in one sprout that are these three mana in total, then that is three creatures that is returned. So very good card advantage given on this and a short gas that are uh, self mill to make sure that uh, you can patch up basically better than three any number or any definite creature that would benefit your uh, board. 
So for your land matchups, uh, I mean the land distribution will color would rely on the absan. So of course the short slow lands, black, green, and the pain lands, so the escape coilers are added here along with this other card distribution and also supported by your utility channel lands, Takinuma, Boshiju, when George and Aigan Jokes, of the Empire, and of course, basic lands. Now for color distribution, we can check on this. Average mana value is 2.39. That goes with 2 to 3 mana cost, which is a very benefit for a good uh, creature curve. Our color distribution, we have uh, green for 15 and least, uh, 19 for white and black is the 6. So it's merely white. Uh, base deck with the uh, go with the green for mana fix and black as a splash but our uh, white producers uh, distribution seem to be fair and also given that black goes would higher than that of white but still uh, given that we have uh, several uh, dual lands here so considering that they can still produce white at the moment and uh, not really a good not really a drawback on this uh, sense and last but not the least we only have a treasure token to use with this one so overall, I think this is a good uh, deck to try out if you are going to go with just uh, the TG Arena or MTG Online that you have spare cards to use. So utilize this as given. We have only, I think this was just the rarity. We can check if the rarity here it goes. We have a lot of rares, but mostly on the lands. So if you are really invested in making this deck, you have already probably some sort of a good uh, mana bank for the types of lands that are going to use and at the same time just generate out since the new cards here are probably just Orborg Lorgaif which aren't that really popular in other builds and Hero of the Dunes which is just an uncommon card and it's easily uh, utilized in case in arena that are you have uh, several uh, 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 craft cards that can use for the uncommons. So that's about it. Thank you for checking this uh, deck tech of uh, the Absan self mill deck. Uh, it's suggested by Sir Butch Lobster in MTG Goldfish. If you like this video, you can check more on this on the, by uh, clicking on like and subscribe. And the notifications bell would be also turned on for any updates that are instantly posted on this channel. Thank you for checking this video again. This is Mark and until the next time guys.